How you doing? I am Roger Green, and today I come to let you know three reasons why you need to go see The Best Man Holiday. Crazy movie. We got the cast, which was crazy. You got the storyline. And we got this little this little title that I'm going to call The Comeback. And we're going to get to that. Don't worry, we're going to get to that. But like I said, first of all, we got the cast. Come on now. You got Monica Calhoun. You got Morris Chestnut. You got Melissa. Oh my God. Tay Diggs. Regina Hall. Terrence Howard. Nia Long. Like the the list goes on. You know, the cast was crazy for this movie. And I, I don't really think people understand like where all of these actors come from. You know, they they've done this in the past. You know, they've all worked together. So the chemistry of the of them coming together and just bonding once again, classic. One of my favorite movies of the year, I must say, in my opinion. Then we got the storyline. Okay, first of all, let me let me take you, let me let me let y'all know exactly what's what's going on here. This is about some college students that met 15 odd years ago and they're back for the Christmas holiday. All the drama that they had in the past is now stirred up again. So, you know, it's just a lot of, you know, commotion and emotions that, you know, that are up in the air. So I think the way that they use pathos in this film was 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 really well done. You know, I think it was excellent. You know, um, it's, it's a really emotional film. And a lot of people, if you ask any of your friends that seen the movie, they'll tell you that they, they probably shed it a couple of tears. Like, a couple of our friends shed the tears while we in the theater. You know, that's, it's crazy. It's tough for a movie to do that to you. But I think they really got into pathos on this and got the emotion, the emotional drives just going. All right. Last but not least, I must say the comeback. Like... This is my own category. I'm giving them this category <laughs> because not many film writers can do what Malcolm did for this film. And that's make a sequel live up to the hype, you know. Um, I feel like it, this movie like really lived up to what people thought it, it should be, you know, and maybe even exceeded. You know, I'm going to let you be the judge of that. But I feel like Malcolm did a good job at directing and writing this film. So, overall, I feel like you need to go see this movie. And if you haven't seen the first movie, go see the first movie. And you can put the pieces together and, hey, you might shed a tear or two. You never know. But I am Roderick Green, and I appreciate you taking your time to listen to me. And I guess I'll see you guys later on. Peace.